Hello, this is H1. We're going to be running back with another episode talking about chess knowledge, chess wisdom, and chess understanding. And today we're going to go over a puzzle in a few games. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Hello, Omar. How you doing? All right. Got the music going. We got the puzzle behind me. It is white to move. What are we supposed to do? And I already got a couple games already up and running. What's good? I'm happy to be back. Hey, this is a chess channel. Let's solve some puzzles. Let's do a lesson right quick. One hour, that's all I need from you. I seek to be stuck. I seem to be stuck at 900, can't really move up in rank. Well, keep on doing puzzles. Chess isn't like a, um, when you're playing chess or learning how to become better, it isn't just like a gradual um, upstream. It's usually like statically, static. So for example, one day you might be below your rating, then the next day you might be like 200 rating points higher. You just never know. But anyway, what is the best move? We got Rook takes on F7. That's the first decision. Any any more moves from everybody? What is the best move here? I stream every single day. I teach chess knowledge, chess books, and chess understanding. Look at my account. I have a beginner's playlist, a tactics playlist, and a um, strategy playlist. And I go over most of all the openings. So if you want to learn how to play chess, you are at the right spot. Let's continue right quick. What is the best move? We got rook c1, attacking the queen, trying to trap the queen. That is a good strategy, but that isn't the best move here. Hey, Martin, what's up? He's in the house. We got bishop c4, bishop c5, bishop c4. Okay, a lot of people saying bishop c4 right now. I get that because by going to bishop c4, you're hitting this f7 pawn three times, but that is a little bit slow. That's a little bit slow. We want to, when we're doing puzzles, we're thinking about forcing moves. What are all the checks, captures, and threats? Wait, queen f7? No, we're not doing queen f7. <laughs> that is very forcing, but not queen f7. Yeah, not queen f7. What's another move that we can do? One person already got the move right. I just skimmed through it. I just skimmed through it. I'm a beginner. Yeah, it... Hey, if you're a beginner, you are welcomed here too. No worries. Let me bring this table just a little bit closer so that it looks a lot better. All right, hopefully that looks well. Actually, dang, I forgot to put this on. There you go. <laughs> I was struggling. All right, so the best move of this position, this, wait a minute, it just flipped. Okay, it, it probably flipped back now. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, in this position, the best move is actually going to rook takes on f7. Rook takes f7 is the best move. After rook takes on f7, what happens after our opponent takes the rook back? What is the best move here? S sneak? Yeah. Yes, I was right the first time. Yeah, you was right the first time. Just because I, I missed your answer doesn't mean that it's not the right answer. All right? Glad to have you here. I think you're a newcomer. What is the next best move? We got bishop c4. Every, um, everybody's trying to join for some reason, <laughs> but we got, what's the follow-up? Because after you find the rook takes on f7 move, you have to know what's the next move. c4, bishop g5, it's inverted again? What is going on? I don't know what's going on with the TikTok stream right now. 
I'm probably just going to have to flip it, flip like my phone altogether. I don't know why it's doing that. Hey, you love the stream? Thank you. Okay, we're back good again. What is the best move from here? Bishop E to D4? Not Bishop E to D4. That's that's that move. Our opponent could just capture our bishop. Knight C5. Uh, I am I am fat. You are correct. That's the username. Just these streams are going on YouTube, so <laughs> I'm just making sure. <laughs> hey, I'm watching from uh, South Africa. Shout out to South Africa. Okay, everybody who set the move Bishop C4 is definitely correct because after Bishop C4, you are about to take this rook on the next move because there is no way for black to protect the rook, even with this knight on the d7 square, because these two pieces are literally doing nothing in this position. Now, you could have did a mistake by thinking that rook f1 was the correct move, but this knight could just move to f6 and block that whole file. So we can't do mistakes like that at all, especially in this position. And this queen is still attacking this e2 bishop. So we have to be careful. Bishop c4 was the correct move. All the people who said it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go into a game. I got two games for you. One, um, Mikhail Bopinik. And then the second one is v Vitaly... Oh, wait a minute. I think I already went over this game. No, I didn't. Wait a minute. I think I already went over this game. Yeah, I already went over this game. Never mind. Um, okay, I didn't go over this game. We're going to go over a game. Gordon Thomas crown against John Thorne. Let's get into it. I'm going to set up the board. Tell me how y'all day is in the comments. And we're going to get right into the lesson. I will tell you the, I will tell you the, um, the year this game was played. And hopefully they have the players' ratings because I know that's important too. All right. We're missing a rip. Okay. In this game, just heart it 500 times. Thanks for the hearts. If we reach the heart, um, the light goal, then we're going to be doing push-ups after the stream, just to let y'all know. That's the only time we're going to be doing push-ups is if we reach the light goal. Now, let's get started. How do y'all think white, uh, how do y'all think white played? What is the first move? What is the first move in this position? The light goal is 50k likes. Yeah, everybody who said E4, that is the correct move. After playing E4, then we got into this weird knight F6 move, which initiates the Alicon defense. After doing knight F6, knight C3, trying to avoid going into the main lines by doing E5, black did the move, D5. And after D5, E5, knight f d7 then we got the move e6 doubling up the pawns after e6 f takes on e6 then white decided to do the move d4 taking control of the center after the move d4 c5 d takes on c5 then the move knight c6 was played what do y'all think is the next move because we're still in theory so you know let's keep on going What is a top um, most popular move in this variation? And this is the Alicon Defense Spillman Gambit. Got Bishop D3, Bishop F4. The Knight can't go to G3. Bishop B5. Martin said uh, Bishop B5, Queen H5. Hey, Loco. How you doing? I'm here, sir, and my internet is as bad as ever. My, hey, tell me about it. Bishop c3, uh, knight d4, Mr. Sum, I don't see your full username yet, but thanks for the roses, I appreciate it. The first dono, 
Okay, queen h5, f5. It's a simple move. This is a simple developing move. There's no tactics. There's, there's nothing to do with the check on queen h5. That's not the best move. Knight h3 is close, but that is a, not the best move here. It's just a regular move. We're just developing pieces. Soggy, you are correct. The move that was played is knight f3. After knight f3, knight takes on c5. How can we develop another piece? How can we just keep on going? Because now we want to develop our bishops and castle our king. Where are we supposed to develop our bishops? We got bishop d3. That's the first choice. Now, the only thing we're going to bishop d3 is that this knight can capture that bishop on the d3 square, which gives our opponent the two bishops advantage, which we don't want to do that. The two bishop advantage, especially in an open position, is really good for us. Bishop b5. Yep, that's the correct move. Bishop b5. Pinning the knight to the king. Now, his opponent did the move queen d6. And this is a bad opening for black, just for everybody to know. After queen d6, then g3 was played. Gordon played g3. And just to let y'all know, white is Gordon. And um, the person who played with the black pieces, his name is John Thorne Lesson. After g3, knight c, d7. Then... What's the next move? Queen h5 didn't lead to anywhere. Because after queen h5, g6, there's no other move that you could do. Whoever asked why uh, queen h5 wasn't a good move. That's why it's just better to uh, continue developing here. A lot of people saying queen g4. Everybody who said castle, you are correct. We're just going to castle kingside. That's the plan. After castle and kingside, g6 now, what's the next best move? What is the next best move here? A lot of people are saying bishop f4, we got knight g5. We're not done developing our pieces yet, so moves like knight g5 wouldn't be as helpful right now. Because after knight g5, can our opponent just do h6, bump our knight back? Okay, um, HTTPPS, you are correct. Um, JZ, you are correct too. He just did the simple move, rook e1, attacking the pawns that's on the e-file. After rook e1, bishop g7, then now what are we doing? And this next move isn't an accuracy, so I want y'all to find the best move in this, in this position. Yeah, bishop f... well... Yeah, bishop f4 is the best move in this position. Who just said that? There was somebody from the Discord. Somebody who subbed to the TikTok um, account that helps me out. Yep, Loco, you got the correct move. Hey, Ro, Ro, what's up? Welcome to the party. Bishop f4 was the correct move. But in this game, Gordon decided to play the move. Knight g5, just attacking the pawn, seemed very self-explanatory. But this is actually a small inaccuracy on White's part. But after this move, bishop takes on c3, that, this move just made white um, better than black again. After bishop takes on c3, what is the next best move? Thanks, Mr. Something 25. Thanks for the 10 roses. What is happening here? What is the best decision for us to do after bishop takes on c3 a lot of people are saying it too dang there's that was a lot of people that said it rook takes on e6 attacking the queen and the knight is protecting the rook so the queen has to move somewhere after queen c5 what is the next best move here hey mr something you're saying rook e6 you already got it loco you got it man We got b4, bishop e3, pawn a4, pawn a4 protecting the bishop, okay. 
that's a little bit slow though, just to let everybody know. A4 is a little bit slow in this position. After doing A4, the opponent will just castle and then they'll be scot-free. We need to do more forcing moves um, to, keep, to keep the initiative. How can we keep the initiative? A lot of people saying B takes on C3, just taking the bishop back. But that's not the best move here. Yes, yeah, somebody just said it. Um, dang it, I missed your move. GC, you just said the move, the correct move. Yeah, bishop takes on C6. Since the queen was threatening the bishop, by you capturing the knight, they're going to have to deal with that, deal with that capture. So after B takes on C6, then now what are we doing? <clears throat> After bishop takes over c6, what are we doing? Uh, Luke, Luca, uh, you are correct. Nick, Nick, I think it was Nick, or N Nick uh, something. You're correct too. The next best move is b takes on c3, just taking a bishop. Beforehand, if we would have did b takes on c3, queen would have took our bishop. But now, since we took their knight first and took the bishop, they're going to have to deal with just us, just us having a perfect position right now. They did the move h6, which is a big blunder. What are we doing next? What are we doing next? Let me turn the music a little bit down. What is the next best move here? A lot of people saying queen e1. All right. We got queen f3, bishop e3. That is attacking the bishop. I mean, attacking the queen. It does make sense. And that is actually the best move of the position, doing bishop to e3, attacking the queen. But he did like the second best move. And Sussy, you... You're correct. He did the move queen e2. After queen e2, knight f8, what happens now? Mr. Something, you are correct. What happens now after the knight moves to f8, attacking our rook? And this bishop is attacking our rook too. Somebody already got it correct. Loco, if rook takes on e7, remember this queen can move backwards and just snap our rook off the board. We gotta be careful still. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it now. The move bishop e3 is the correct move. After bishop e3, queen c4, queen c4, what's next? And this next move is a little bit shocking takes a lot of guts to do this next move. Who can find it? You will be praised by finding this next move. Phoenix, you are correct. <laughs> can we get somebody else? We got Phoenix in the building. Jojo, that's at the best move. Um, who else? We got a lot of underscores and ones that set the best move. Ruck takes on E7. Check. Interesting enough, if King takes Ruck right here, in this moment, we have all the discovery checks in the world and actually a double check in this position, attacking the king and the bishop is attacking the king. And shortly, that will be checkmate if the king would have took the rook. But in this instance, he tried to defend a little while longer and did the move king d8. After doing king d8, what can we do next? What can we do next after king d8? We got bishop e7, knight f7. So knight f7, Jojo, is the move that was played in the game. But actually, there's a quicker checkmate that was checkmate in two. Can y'all find checkmate in two right quick? Can y'all find checkmate in two? Sammy, you're correct. 
uh, Francis, Francis, Francisco, one of those, you're correct too. Bishop b6 is the correct move to get checkmate in two because after a takes on b6, then you have the fascinating checkmate, knight f7, and the queen is defending the rook in this position. But I guess George, was that? No, Gordon missed that and he just did the move knight f7 first. I mean, knight f7 looks like a really good move too. And which it still is because he still wins the game. After king takes on e7 though, what are we doing next? After king takes on e7, what are we doing next? A lot of people are saying bishop g5. But that's not the right direction that he went. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, man, you better. Jojo, you're correct. Uh, Mr. Something, 25, you're correct. GC, you're correct. Tiang, you're correct too. A lot, everybody who said bishop c5 is correct. After bishop c5 attacking the king twice, so usually when a double check happens, the king has is forced to move. You can't do the other block and capture methods because the king was attacked twice. The king moves to f6. What's the next best move? Yo, is this checkers? <laughs> you almost got banned. <laughs> no, you didn't just come to a chess stream and said, is this checkers? That's crazy. Uh, everybody who said queen e5 is correct. After queen e5, king f7. What do we do here? What do we do here after the king moves to f7? A lot of people are saying it already. Queen e7. And after queen e7, king g8 only move. What happens next? We're almost there to the checkmate. That happened in the board. Uh, that happened in the game. Yeah, simply put, queen takes on f8 because the bishop is behind the queen. They're forming a, a battery on that a3 to f8 diagonal. So after king to h7, who can find the checkmate in one? Malik Hoops, what's up? Welcome to the welcome to the stream. I remember you. Yeah, everybody should be saying this next move. Queen f7, checkmate. Queen f7, checkmate. Now, this game started off really messy. Like, first of all, our opponent had us double their pawns. We just developed pieces. They kept on moving their pieces. They None of their pieces were very coordinated in that game and then plus two they moved a lot of pawns and we just overwhelmed them with our tactics with our activity so let me just put this out there for all the people who are struggling like to get above that a thousand rating or even 1400 1400 rating activity is crucial and is really important if you don't have activity then the whole game of chess is lost did you just put a crown on my head but the whole game of chess is lost all right Look at all Grandmaster games. Each one of their games, they have active pieces. You can't play with just like half your pieces. That's not how you play chess. You play with all of them. It's like leaving out your best friend in a party. You don't do that. All right? So there you go. <laughs> hey, Dave and the writer. Okay, let's, let's, do a, let's do another puzzle right quick. Because I thought I had two more. I, ha I thought I had another game, but we already went over like most of these games. I've been streaming every single day. So everybody who um, is just not joining the stream that wonders when I'm streaming, I stream every single day. Okay, we're going to get another position up on the board. Okay, let's turn this off right quick. Did y'all watch the chess boxing match? Wasn't that crazy? The Ludwig chess boxing match from all YouTubers. Uh, 
Okay. She. I gotta flip this board. It's like the only thing that's wrong with doing this on a regular board like this because I can't just flip the board um, if I was on a computer. So just bear with me. The position will be up on the board pretty soon. All right. This position is almost set up. Cool. Okay, missing a piece. Okay, cool. This is the position and this is black to move. What, do you, what are we supposed to do here? Black to move, there's a lot of things going on here. A lot of things are going on here. Black to move, what is the best move here? Loco, you are correct. Hey, anyone from South Africa? <laughs> yeah, I think there's some people from South Africa. Shout out to South Africa. Can you show us some, wait a minute. Can you show us some good uh, scenarios in which an Ampasan is good? Not right now. That's something that I have to prepare for. Bless, you are correct. Um, Nelson, you're correct too. A lot of people are correct. Yeah, a lot of people found that pretty quickly. Samir... Kyo Smelty? Yeah, queen takes on h2 is the correct move. After queen takes on h2 and king f1, what is the next move? What is the next best move? Even if you don't understand chess, I have a beginner playlist that you can look up either on YouTube or on my TikTok account. If you go through that beginner, um, beginner playlist, you will know how to move all the pieces, how to checkmate, etc. A battery is super easy to see. I okay the London half my attacks are batteries. Yeah. A lot of people are saying queen h1. Queen h1 checking the king. After queen h1, what what would be the follow up? What would be the follow up after queen h1? After queen h1 and king e2, what would be the follow up? Rook e8. A lot of people are saying rookie eight. So everybody's saying queen h1, king e2, rookie eight check. And what if after queen h1, king e2, rookie eight, and then what if this knight just moves back to e5? What happens here? What happens if the knight just moved back to e5? Do anybody got like an, another good move here? Because now the rook is attacking our queen. We got this knight in a pin, but like if we do any other move, this rook is going to ta uh, take this queen. Rook takes on e5. We're going deeper into the rabbit hole after rook takes on e5. D takes on e5. What's the next move here? Queen takes on you. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just say that's not the best move. Queen h1 is not the best move. Just to give everybody a shortcut. Sometimes, you know, and I just put out a video. I just put out a video about this, about um, our instinct is to attack and find checkmate, but we could do a better move than just trying to check the king and find checkmate. Sometimes you can find compensation somewhere else. Bishop takes? Bishop takes what? Cloudy, you're correct. Not rook e8 now, because if rook e8, rook just takes on e8 with check. And actually, now if rook e8, knight takes on f6 with check. That's even better. Yeah, uh, everybody who said bishop takes on d7, you're correct. 
After bishop takes on d7, now you have a better position because this king is vulnerable still. The threat, remember this principle, the threat is better than the execution. So we still have the queen h1 threat. We can do rook e8 now and trap the king. So after we do rook e8, if rook takes, we can take back with the other rook. We got all of our pieces developed. We got threats like bishop g5. I mean, not bishop g5, bishop g4, knight g4, etc. So that is the best move here. Oh yeah, I think I know why the camera is becoming inverted just from everybody who's trying to join the stream. So if we can avoid that while I'm trying to teach, that would be much appreciated. That would be much appreciated. All right, let's move on to an, uh, let's move on to the next puzzle. I don't know why the music shut off. Oh, okay. Will you just move on to the next puzzle? I had to flip the board. <laughs> if I don't flip the board, I'm going to set up the puzzle incorrectly. Dang it. All right. I wonder, can y'all grandmasters get this next puzzle right quick? Oh, there's already a rook right there. All right. Okay. Dang. Oh, it's already on the board. Okay, we're almost there. Pawn right here, rook f5. Bishop right there. Bishop right here. Okay, this is it. This is the next puzzle. Can y'all figure out the next puzzle? Um, this is black to move. What are we supposed to do here? It's black to move. A lot of people are saying queen takes on h2. Oh, snap, is inverted again? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, don't call in. I think that's the reason why it becomes inverted when people is calling in to live chat with me. Understandable, but yeah, just avoid doing that. There, now it's, now it's good. Yep, cool. Yeah, tell, tech, uh, tell TikTok fix that. Uh, bug. Yeah, just don't call in. Rook h5. So after rook h, uh, we got to look at all the pieces. After rook h5, what would be the best move for white? After rook h5, what would be the best move for white? We got to be careful. We got trade, yeah, trade queens. Roro, you see it. Queen takes on h3. Just trade queens, and there's no attack for you at all. And then plus two, after, after queen trades, so queen takes on h3, rook takes on h3, knight takes on a, a8, and white is up in material. So rook to h5 is not the correct move. Queen takes on g3, what? Queen takes on g3? After queen takes on g3, it might seem like f takes on g3, um, h takes on g3 is like the only moves white has. But after rook takes on g3, that's the move that you would have to like face against. So queen takes on g3 seemed like a beautiful move, but it's not. Bishop f3, queen g7, queen g7, queen, wait a minute, wait, this is black to move, black to move. Queen h2, after after queen h2, right? Queen h2, king takes on h2, rook h5. I'm just assuming this is the move that you want to do. 
Then white has one more block that can happen. Queen to h3. Queen to h3. And we would have an extra rook in that position. This move that you need to find is a quiet move, but it still threatens, um, it threatens something. Tasty potatoes, you are correct. Gigas, Gigastar? Gigstar? Yeah, you're correct. The move is bishop c8, weirdly enough. Bishop c8, do y'all see that? What do y'all think about that move? I like the vibes here, even if you, <laughs> you don't get it. Hey, if you don't get it, you're at the right place. There was a lot of places where I was at when I was a beginner, and I just didn't get it. Yeah, after bishop c8, the main problem was that is that this queen was on this was on this stupid diagonal, right? Because you wanted to do moves like rook h5, queen takes on h2, and etc. So by doing the move bishop c8, you're getting the queen off the diagonal. So what are we doing after the queen moves to e8? Queen, oh snap, did I not explain queen g2? After queen g2, rook takes on g2, is forced, pawn takes on g2, king g1. After king g1, there's really no other threats here. There's not even a good check here at all. The pawn can stay right here. This pawn was an attacker, but now it's defending the king on the g1 square. That's why queen g2 didn't work out. After bishops, bishop c8, queen e8, what is the best move here? Got it, thanks. Bishop then moves back to b7, uh, then queen g2, now queen h2. Well, not we can't do queen h2 now. That's, that's, that's a really dangerous move to do because after queen h2, and I know this is a lot of moves to calculate, queen h2, king h2, we want to go to rook h5, but this queen is now on that diagonal stopping that rook h5. So, uh, a lot of people got it right now. Known, known fate? Back, back at? Uh, Roro, you're correct. Everybody who said rook h5 in this moment is correct. Rook h5, after rook h5, the only best move for white to do is to sacrifice their queen for the rook on h5 to stop the checkmate on the h2 square. And after queen takes on h5, now you have a better position than your opponent. Even after this knight takes on a8, you still have a better position than your opponent. All right. Well done. Funny thing, I started learning chess today. Hey, if you started learning chess today, let me teach you. <laughs> like I am right now. All right. Dang, all these puzzles are like uh, for the black pieces. Let me get one for white. Okay, we got we to gotta end game now. Hopefully y'all good with y'all end games. Got an end game puzzle. Just... Kings and pawns and one bishop and knight. All right. Got this king all the way up here. We got this. Got this bishop right here. Right here, here, here. Here. This is the position. White to move. What is the best move here? Well, actually, dang it. It's black to move. No. Well, it's fine. I wanted to go over this end game. It's black to move. My bad. I had the game flipped this whole time. It's black to move. Teach me. I'm teaching right now. The black king can't stay there. What are we doing with the black king? It seems like our position is horrible. It seems like it. Do you have a Hokoro Nakamura 
Hey, Loco. Welcome back. Uh, Hokaru Nakamura game. I can look for one. What's the best move here? A lot of people want to do knight g5. Because it's forking the, the king and the bishop. That's what a lot of people want to do. Knight d8, knight h8, rook f5, knight d8. The best move is knight g5. After knight g5, what are we doing after the king moves to d7, attacking the c7 pawn? And while y'all figuring out this, um, I'm going to look for a Hikaru Nakamura game before I end the stream. All right, after knight g5, yeah, I should have found the knight takes on h3 move. After knight takes on h3 and king takes on c7, what is the best move here? And in order for you to find the best move here, you would have to know your end games pretty, pretty well. Dang, a lot of people are saying it. <laughs> yeah, y'all got it correct already. There was like a whole line of people saying e4. After e4, is pretty much done. Because even if this king uh, takes this d6 pawn, then we could just push this pawn down to e3, e2, e1, or even capture this pawn and promote first. Usually in end games, whoever promotes first wins the game. And so, yeah, that's one good thing to keep in mind. Good job. I found a Karo Nakamura game that we're going to go over right quick. Just bear with me. I have to load it up on leechess.org, etc. Doesn't take that much work, but if the internet works well, then high enough to teach. <laughs> oh yes, people ask for a rating. My USCF rating is 1800 and my online chess rating is around 2100. All right, let's set up the board right quick. Okay. I've been teaching for over a decade, if you haven't read my bio, so you don't have to worry about that. Taught all ages. I even taught, I even taught kindergartners. Have you ever taught a kindergartner how to play chess before? It's pretty fun, actually. But before they know it, it's, it's really like, wow. It's crazy. You might as well just let them play checkers. Like grand finals. I hate teaching beginners. It feels so weird. <laughs> Dang. I wouldn't say that I hate it. <laughs> That's a strong word, man. <laughs> but, you know, you just have to explain a lot more uh, deeper things. All right. Oh, snap. We got another dono. Holiday stockings. Thank you. I'll win so easy. Okay. Can you show the London system against black playing E5? I can't show that right now, but I'm pretty sure I already have a video on it. H1 taught me how to play chess. <laughs> Dave and the writer. Nah, it's so boring for me. Uh, we got somebody that wants to join right quick. Um, what we got? Moan. Hey, how you Hi. doing? I'm good. Yeah, you wanted to say something before the game start? No, let's go. Okay, let's get to it. He said, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, every time I answer a call, it gets inverted again. Dang, three more people want to join? For real? Let me just see what these people want to, want to say right quick. Hey, how you doing? All right. <laughs> that was a dud. <laughs> I will accept it. <laughs> uh, that was a dud. Hey, Aiden. Hi. Hey, how you doing? 
I'm doing fine. Yeah. You ready for the game? Yeah. You, you, you got something to say before we start this game? Uh, no. All right. Let's just continue. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's get started. What do y'all think Hikaru Nakamura played um, first? And Hikaru Nakamura is the black pieces, and his opponent played D4. His opponent name was Arthur. In this game, um, Hikaru Nakamura was 2201. Weirdly enough, that's a low rating for Hikaru Nakamura. And this was back in 1998. Crazy enough. 1998. Because I think Hikaru Nakamura is like in his 30s. Oh, yeah. Let me change that inverted right quick. It should be fixed now. All right. What do you think Hikaru Nakamura played first as the black pieces? His rating is 2201 at the time. London is so boring, not going to lie. Easily refuted. It's not easily refuted. Grandmasters play the London all the time. A lot of people are saying D5, but... This is like back in the day, Hukaro Nakamura. Yeah, Lord K. Who was that? Somebody just said the move. Loco, you're correct. Um, Lord Kazer, you're correct. Hey, Agbird, welcome to the party. The move that he played was Knight F6. If I'm not mistaken, he was a big King's in, uh, Indian defense person back in the day. So after Knight F6, playing C4, now we got the move. Um, g6. After g6, knight c3. Bishop g7, going straight into the king's Indian defense. e4 and d6. After the move d6, this is the well-known king's Indian defense structure. After the move, wait a minute. After the move, bishop g5, attacking the knight, king side castle, and then we got the move f4. Ultra aggressive. This is like this. Opening is called the King's Indian Defense Accelerated Akbar, Akbar variation. And after this, Hakara Nakamura played the move C5. After C5, D4, what do you think Hakara Nakamura played next? And this next move is the most popular move in this opening. Yeah, they are crazy for this opening, especially for the white pieces. I used to play like the four pawn attack against the King's Indian defense a lot until I lost so many times at it. And so I just stopped trying to punish the King's Indian defense like that. What do you think Black's next move should be? And for all you King's Indian defense players out there, come on, come through. I like chess, but I don't really play it that much. But my crush loved chess, so I'm going to need to get better. Hey! There we go. Doing it for love. Why not? Chess is all about love. You're just trying to destroy the other person's king. I'm Legion uh, X. Yeah, I know. I know who you are, Ackbird. <laughs> all right. A lot of people saying G4, Bishop G4, Queen A5. If we don't get the correct move, we're doing push-ups. We're doing 10 push-ups if y'all don't get the correct move. Pranav. Okay, cool. You got the correct move. We got one person. Can we get another person? Can we get another person? Nah, push-ups is crazy. Nah, we got to do push-ups. You got to be physically fit and, you know, you got to be smart too. You got to be both. I don't, I don't know if we can get another person. We got E5. Knight G4, come on. Can we get a city boy? City boys. <laughs> All right, we got H6. Who to move? One person already got the move correct. Can we get another person? Oh my, oh my goodness. We're gonna have to be, do, we're gonna have to do push ups. Okay, we got one other person. Um, what? You said takes. Well, you can't take on that square. I thought we had one other person. We can't take. It's black to move. We're playing for the black pieces. We are playing for the black pieces because the black pieces is Hokaro Nakamura.
Knight C6, Knight E4. We're, hey, I'm giving y'all 30 seconds. I'm putting the timer on. Give y'all 30 seconds. I'm putting the timer on. Somebody was almost correct. True two, you was almost correct. Yeah, I'm about to give y'all 30 seconds. Okay, got it. So you got the move correctly. He played the move B5. B5 was the move that was played here. After playing B5, which might seem like a weird move to play in this position, but it's a top move in this variation. After C takes on B5, we're going to figure out why Hukara Nakamura played this. Then he played the move A6, kind of going into like a Banco Gambit type of structure. After playing the move A6, which is very normal, B takes on A6. After, Bishop t after B takes on A6, what is the next move? This is very normal for the structure, especially after, after doing the move c5, just gambling it off the queenside pawns to get more activity, of course. We got the move, Roro, you're correct. The bishop takes on a6, it's the next correct move. I am down this bishop on the f1 square. And once this trade happens, then this king cannot castle anymore. So after bishop takes on a6, he just took the bishop. On a6, what are we taking the bishop with? We got two pieces to take the bishop back with. Oh, snap, we're almost at 50K likes. We're going to be doing push-ups at the end, so hopefully we can get there before, um, um, before the stream ends. Uh, a lot of people want to take it with the rook. Okay, let's do a poll right quick. We're going to do a poll, quick poll. Cry for, I mean, smile for knight takes on a6. Cry for rook takes on a6. Smile for knight takes on a6. Cry for rook takes on a6. All right. It seems like a lot of people are smiling for knight takes on a6. Hey, we reached 50K likes. We reached the goal. I need me a soundboard. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Shoot. Yeah, the move that was played here is knight takes on a6. Either move could have been played, but knight takes on a6 just looks a little bit more decent, especially because you're trying to hit the knight before move in the future. But after that knight took, knight f3, then we got the move. Um, actually, y'all can, can find the next move. How can we get our pieces into the game? We just sacrificed two pawns on the queen side. So, you know, we're strongest on the queen side. We should be attacking on the queen side. It would be kind of weird for us to start attacking on the king side since that's pretty much um, the direction where white is strongest. Okay, queen a5 is almost to the move. A lot of people are saying queen a5, which is almost correct. Yeah. Queen b6, queen b6 targeting this b2 pawn. After targeting the b2 pawn, rook b1 protecting the pawn, then Hukara Nakamura played the move c4. After playing c4, queen e2, then rook c8, rook f to c8. After rook f to c8, queen f2, white is trying to exchange pieces since he's up in material, classic thing to do. He doesn't know that that was a massive blunder. How can we punish that as Hokaro Nakamura? Let's play like a grandmaster right now. How can we punish that? And he wasn't even a grandmaster at this moment. 60K likes already. Dang, y'all are going fast. Let's get this going. What is the best move for black to play here? Knight takes on d5, gets a pawn, knight c5. Um, somebody just said it. Goddess, you're correct. And Pranav, you are correct too. Knight to c5. Knight to c5 to avoid the capture because since we're down in material, we're trying to avoid exchanging pieces. So after knight c5, castle king side, since white didn't move the king at all, then now what are we playing? 
How can we punish White's position? Also, knight d3. Well, not knight, three, not knight d3 at this moment. Pranav, you're correct. <clears throat> uh, there is one other person. Big Ninja? I'm not saying that middle part. <laughs> yeah, Big Ninja is in the building. He got the correct move. Greasy is in the building. Knight g4 attacking the queen. After knight g4 and queen moves, look at all these tempo moves that black is doing right now. That's what you're supposed to do if you're trying to take an opportunity, take the initiative in a position. So after knight g4 attacking the queen, queen moves, what's the next best move? Because now something opened up. 70k likes. We're almost to, let's get to 100k likes. Let's do it. Let's get to 100k. I was going to do 20 push-ups at the end. I'll do 40 if we get to 100k. Okay. Um, a lot of people already set the move already. But once you notice that this queen is like... Dang near attacking the king. He's x-raying the king if this knight moves. Then you notice, oh snap, I got a discover check. And the best discover check is knight takes on e4. After knight takes on e4, king h1, what happens next? Pretty simple tactics, pretty simple strategy. We need to move the knight, but I can't find the best move. Come on, let's do it. Let's think harder. Knight is not K, it's in, it's in. Yeah, the knight is in. K is for king, N is for knight. And everybody who is saying knight to F2, there are two knights that can go to F2, so you have to be a little bit more specific for me to give you that point. There's two knights that can go to F2, so you have to be a little bit more specific. He... <laughs> Okay, so we got knight e to f2. We got a g4 to f2. It seems like everybody's confused on which knight to go to f2. We're doing another poll. Smile for knight g to f2. Cry for knight e to f2. Which knight is going on the f2 square? And just to let everybody know, it's kind of you all preference anyway, because both knight moves win in this position. Oddly enough. <laughs> but the move that Hokkaido Nakamura played in this position was knight G to F2. Both knight moves win. If you found the knight to F2 move, you're, you're doing great. So after knight to F2, king G1, what happens next? What happens next? It's the same. Both are getting lost either way. Yeah, both is running to Smothers Mate if you know what that is. After King G1, this is a Grandmaster play. At this point of time, Hokkaido Nakamura was just 2200. I don't know how old he was, but yeah, I'm pretty sure at a young age he was pretty good. A lot of people should know this checkmate. Yeah, Knight to H3. King H1. And G takes on H3 can't happen because of this queen check. So this is a double check tactic and discover check tactic. So after King H1, what happens next? Yeah, there's no mate. A lot of people was thinking that there was going to be a mate. It kind of looks like a, a, smother, a smother's mate that was going to happen. But if you did the wrong move by going queen g1, then this knight takes on g1 would have been a real big surprise for you. Just to let everybody know. But what are we doing next? And everybody who is saying knight to f2, there's two knights that can go to f2. So you have to be a little bit more specific. There's two knights that can go to f2.
knight e to f2. Yeah, knight e to f2. After knight e to f2, rook takes on f2. What happens after rook takes on f2? Knight takes on g4. What? The, the knight can't go to g4. Yep, a lot of people were saying recapture. Knight takes on f2, which was played in the game. After knight takes on f2, king g1. What happens next? What happens next? And this next move pretty much made his opponent resign. A lot of people want to go back to knight to h3. There's not really a goal to reach after knight to h3 again. Loco, you are definitely correct. The move that Hikaru Nakamura played was knight to e4, checking the king. Knight to e4. The queen can't go to f2 because knight would just take. If the king goes back to h1, why did the knight go to e4 instead of any other move? Well, knight d1 would have worked too, but why is knight e4 the move that Hikaru Nakamura chose? If his opponent didn't resign at this moment, what would be his best move? Cloudy, you are correct. Knight takes knight. Knight takes on c3 would have been very damaging. Because b take b can't take I can't even talk. The b pawn can't even take the knight on the c3 square because it's pinned. Because the queen is pinning that pawn. So if this happened, then this would happen and the rook is gone. Alright? That's what would happen. His opponent, Arthur, decided to just give up. So in this position, you might have thought that giving away those queenside pawns were nonsensical, right? But that gave Black a lot more initiative and activity to overwhelm his opponent to make a mistake, especially on that diagonal. And just imagine if we would have went to queen a5 instead of queen b6, we would have never got those discover checks, those double checks on the king that castled to the g1 square. Remember, activity is king on the chessboard. And plus, I just showed a game by Hokaru Nakamura when he was 2200. All right, that's the last game that I was going to go over. If anybody has any other questions, you can ask them now. Hey, I stream every single day, chess content, just chess lessons, going over games, etc. And if you want to be a part of a personal Discord, you can sign up for the TikTok subscription where you can talk to me and how many people is in here? 16 other people that wants to improve and learn how to play chess. We have voice chats. We're going to have tournaments pretty soon. I'm going to be live streaming at tournaments, things of that nature. And you will have priority comment and, and free emotes, more emotes. And you only have to pay one time to be in a Discord forever. Just to let everybody know, you only have to pay one time to be in the Discord forever if you're signing up. Yep, this stream is over. We're calming down. It's good. I'm just answering questions right now. And I'm going to be doing push-ups pretty soon, like in, in a minute. Did you do push-ups? I haven't did push-ups yet. I'm going to be doing push-ups. Wait a minute. And Malik Hoops is showing the emos right now. But let me do push-ups right quick. Everybody who's thinking about it, please let me know. Everybody who's in the group, show the emotes that you have. Ah, here we go. What did I say, 25? I think I said 25. All right. Can you see me? <laughs> I don't ever know who made this tradition, but whatever. Let's get to it. Do the push-ups with me. I shouldn't be the only one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 
24, 25. All right, cool. And I encourage people to, to exercise during the stream because Hokaro Nakamura, Magnus Carlsen, they play, um, they play football, soccer, etc. Like in order for them to be at, in order for them to attend their tournaments on a classical chessboard and be there for like more than six hours, they have to be um, somewhat healthy to concentrate for that long. I can't get sore for tomorrow's game. <laughs> Bro, how do I, how do I atop getting tunnel vision? Um, if you have tunnel vision while playing, oh, we've reached 100K likes. That's dope. Oh, snap, I did say do 15. I did say 40, huh, if we hit 100K likes. All right, let's get to it. We hit 100K likes. Ugh. Oh crap, you can't even see me. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh crap. There we go. Thanks for the hundred K likes. That's tradition. Bro just casually disregarded my question. What was your question? Bro, how do I get to... Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Are you like blundering pieces? What do you mean? Uh, like over the chessboard? Are you like... Blunder in pieces. If you're blunder in pieces over the chessboard and giving away pieces and not seeing all your captures, I would just play loser's chess. And loser's chess is a variant that you can play on leechess.org that forces you to see all your captures. How do I improve at chess? Do I just have to study using an engine? No, you actually do the opposite. You study without using an engine. That's how you're going to learn the most. Best TikTok content ever. Thanks, user622. What do you do for a living? I do this, and I'm a truck driver. We're gonna be ripped in the next month. Yeah, hopefully. We're doing this every single day, so hopefully everybody that's doing push-ups with me, you should at least have like some pecs growing a little bit. How do I fight tunnel vision? What? You fight it by studying and by playing more games. All right, cool, that's it for today. Good, I got to train for three weeks because of boxing. <laughs> hey, that's a good exercise too. But anyway, thanks for the stream. Thanks for being here. Thanks for interacting with everybody. I appreciate it. Um, if, you want, if you want more um, in-person knowledge, you can always ask me. Um, you can uh, message me on Instagram, things of that nature. If you need more questions to be answered, I can help some people especially the people that stays long enough to see me do 40 push-ups. So just let me know. See y'all later, loco. Good night, Malik, Aiden. See you next time, tomorrow, same time.